Hello, it's February 2019, I'm in Beckton on the east side of London, and with Valentine's Day fast approaching, here's a video about toxic waste. This is Beckton Gasworks, or at least, this is what's left of what was once the largest gasworks in Europe. It opened in 1870, and for the next 100 years, coal went in and gas came out, until someone discovered a load of natural gas under the North Sea, and suddenly making gas went out of fashion. Closure was announced in 1969, and the last train left a year later. Although actually, uh, that's not technically true, because the old rail yard is now a depot for the Docklands Light Railway. As the giant industrial buildings fell derelict over the 1970s and 80s, they gained a second life as a post-apocalyptic film set. Perhaps most famously, they became war-torn Vietnam in Stanley Kubrick's 1987 film, Full Metal Jacket. Kubrick's pyrotechnics left the place in an even worse state than it had been before, and by the time Oasis came here in 1997 to film the first single from their third album, it was all about to fall apart. And you could probably say the same about the gasworks behind them. Unfortunately, the whole site has been flattened now, ready for a new future where people with accents like mine come here to enjoy their contemporary one, two or three bedroom apartment and drink coffee in their local retail opportunity, before being deafened by one of the planes on the approach to London City Airport that the estate agent forgot to mention. Although if you think that's a nasty surprise, perhaps it's worth taking a moment to imagine what City Airport's air traffic controllers said when they heard Oasis were flying half a dozen military helicopters a few hundred metres from their flight path. Anyway, I realise I'm now standing next to an airport wearing an anorak and holding a camera, so before people start to think I'm some kind of weirdo, I'm going to go and climb a toxic spoil heap. During its lifetime, the gasworks created all kinds of nasty waste, and because there wasn't really anywhere better to put it, it ended up piling up on site in huge heaps that became known as the Beckton Alps. The name was originally a joke, but it seems to have stuck. After the closure of the gasworks, the whole Beckton area was earmarked for redevelopment, and most of the heaps were cleared to make way for housing and shops and things that people like. But this one was left behind, which I suppose makes it the Beckton Alp. At 35 metres above sea level, it's not quite as high as its continental cousins, but it is the highest piece of land in the borough of Newham, and to be fair, there's a decent view of the London skyline from up here. See if you can spot Canary Wharf, the cheese grater, and the Shard. You used to be able to climb right to the top of the Alp, but sadly it's fenced off these days. And although I did try to open the gate, it wasn't going to budge. I guess it's just another case of health and safety bureaucrats deciding that toxic waste dumps aren't particularly good for you. You can, however, poke your camera through the railings and see the remains of something quite incredible. Because it wasn't enough for Britain to call this thing an Alp. We actually went ahead and put a ski slope on it too. It was opened by Princess Diana in 1988, and here's Olympic gold medalist Franz Klammer giving it a ringing endorsement on Thames News. Franz Klammer, 1988. The race winning style's still there, but yes, the surroundings are a bit different. For this is Beckton Alp, an artificial slope high up in London's Docklands. For me, I found it rather difficult to ski on this plastic mat. The ski slope closed in 2001, and since then the Alp has been left to the elements. In fact, the local council has, in a brilliantly optimistic move, labelled the area a nature reserve. You will find nature here, but expect squirrels rather than the Serengeti. If you'd like to visit beautiful Beckton with its glow-in-the-dark alpine scenery and perhaps bring your valentine here for a romantic evening, it's a short drive from London's East End on the A13, or alternatively you can catch the Docklands Light Railway to Beckton Station. Anyway, thanks for watching as always, if you've enjoyed the video please smash that like button or leave a comment, if you're from Beckton then yeah, I understand. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, have a lovely valentine's day and I will see you soon.